Okay, everybody, welcome back to another video. So, as you can tell in today's video, we are not in Bloxburg or Liberty County. Um, this is a video, I don't usually do these, but I'm doing a Roblox Studio tutorial today. So, if you guys want more of these, comment down below. And I'll see how the video does. I may do a couple more of these if you guys want me to, and if the video does well. So, yeah, leave a like. But, yeah, that's all for now. So, um, you can already tell by the title, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use your own custom Roblox um, textures. So, as you can see here, this is not a Roblox wall texture, but I wanted to use it on this building. So, I, I use my own custom texture. Use my own custom shingles texture up here. And I really, really like um, using my own textures over Roblox textures. Unless there's something like concrete down here, which is, uh, I'm just going to leave that as Roblox concrete. But I'm going to be showing you guys how to do stuff like this. So, I'm going to take this wall here, and we're going to try to do the texture on this wall. So, we have the wall down here. And so what you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to make um, whatever you want to make and then you're going to want to click on that part that you want to texture. And you're going to go over here into the explore tab, hit the plus, and then you're going to want to, it should be up here, if not you can just type it in, hit texture. And then you want to click right on the side you want it to be on. Hey, so this is editor me, I realize this might be a little bit confusing what I'm saying. So you click on the spot you want it, but you left click on the block, not right click. Which is going to be surrounded in this orange triangle type box. And so there it is. And then what you're going to want to do next is um, you're going to want to go down to texture. And this is where you're going to put in the number of what the picture you want to be on here, the texture. So next we're going to have to do is you're actually going to have to leave Roblox for a second. And we're going to have to go over to Google. And so once you're on Google, you're going to figure out what texture you want. Say for this, we want a wall like wooden texture. So on Google, we would search up wooden wall texture you go to images and there are all these wooden textures and so say we find one that we like let me find one i like this should be fine you want to find something that is okay to be like very repetitive because it's going to be like bigger and it's going to like repeat the image multiple times not something that's like one big picture that's all going to be on one thing because then you just add a decal onto your thing instead of doing this but texture is where you can just have it along every big of a wall and it'll look fine and it won't look stretched out or anything. So say I want this image right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. Um, actually, right click on it. Um, I don't know why it won't bring it in bigger, but you're gonna right click on it and you're gonna hit save image as and you're gonna save it to your computer, wherever you want it. And I'll see you guys after I save it because I don't want you guys seeing my folders and all that. All right, and now that you've saved it, you're gonna wanna go ahead and you're gonna head over to roblox.com. And once you're on Roblox, you wanna go ahead and hit the create tab at the top go to decals and then select your picture and then once you've done that you're gonna want to go ahead and you're gonna want to hit upload and we're gonna wait for it to be oh okay we're gonna wait for it to be processed but roblox immediately approved this image the second i uploaded it so that's nice but what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to go to configure you don't have to open a link in a new tab i just personally like doing that and then once you have um your image this is approved i don't know why it's not showing you here but you're gonna go up to the top and in, in the url there will be a number you want to take that number and you want to copy it. Then you go back to Roblox Studio. You go down here in the properties of your texture, where it says texture. And you're going to do that. And then you're just going to paste the numbers in. Hit enter. And then, boom, I have my texture right here. This was not a very good wood to put. because You can really tell where the picture, like, cuts different little spots at. But there are some better ones. And, uh, okay, so one way to fix this, if your picture does this, your studs per tile. And you can put that up. And it doesn't look as bad now. I'm actually going to say 20. And now it looks more like um, several wood boards going across. So you can just play around with the numbers, whatever um, makes you happy. And if you do want to put this on more than, like, one thing, but you don't want to keep, like, going into the little texture thing. So say you have, like, another wall right here. And you want the texture there. You can take, take this texture, right-click it, copy it, and then you're going to do Control v Paste. Did not mean to do that. Control V paste, and um, wherever your cursor goes is where it'll place it at. So say you want it on top of here again, you put it there. If you want it on this wall, you put it on that wall. Um, paste it in again, I put it there. Paste. Nope, did not mean to put it on the ground. Just control Z to go back if you do anything you want to undo. Um, I can just paste it, put it there. And you, know, you can just really do whatever you want. So yeah, that is um, today's. Um, this video might be a little bit shorter, but it was just to inform you guys and help you guys out if you um, needed a little building tip for how to do textures that aren't Roblox's, like, you know, default textures, like their materials, I guess. 
their, their textures of like foil marble. Some of those don't look good after a while. Um, some of them might have been better for today's video, but I don't know. But yeah, that's all for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to, you know, subscribe down below, leave a like, comment, share, and all that stuff. So, you know, and if you did upload, if you do want more of these, tell me in the comment section below, because I don't usually do these type of videos in Roblox Studio. If you do want more, tell me down below. And that's all for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everybody.